Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Tom Dyer and this is Three Minute Thursdays. So because this is the first Three Minute Thursday, try saying that fast three times, Three Minute Thursday, Three Minute Thursday, Three Minute Thursday, not as hard as you think. Um, I'm going to explain what it's all about and then I'm going to go ahead and carry on with the normal video. So actually I'm giving myself much less time because I'm talking to you about it. But Three Minute Thursdays are basically three minute videos teaching you flare moves. Generally unedited, uncut, uh, raw videos of me talking to you, teaching you a flare move without any breaks, any stops, just going through the moves so that you can get as much, as many moves as possible over the time period of me posting these videos. So they're going to come out every Thursday, three minutes per video. So the first video, oh sorry, the first move I'm going to show you is boom, the flick to pour. Okay, now this is a good move to use behind the bar when you've got a little bit left in your bottles. Normally two ounces or 60 mils or 6 CL is the maximum. You can do a little bit more, but just be wary of it so that you're not spilling it all over your guests. Now, you're normally doing the move towards the shaker like this, but I'm going to move that this way and I'm going to turn this way and imagine my bar is there so you can see how the move is working. So what you're going to do, you're going to hold the bottle near the shoulder of the bottle because your fingers are going to be the ones pushing the bottle forwards. You're going to start when the bottle's in the speed rail. Okay, but for practice purposes, take it out of the speed rail and, uh, and just try and do the move first before you're doing it directly from the speed rail. Now, when you're going to do this move, you're going to use the fingers here. They're going to push the bottle up so that it makes a full rotation forward and you're going to catch the bottle into a pour. Okay, so push like this. The bottle's going to come up around your thumb. Spin, spin, spin. Hand here and catch like this. Boom. Okay, now when you come to do it, in front of your bar, or behind your bar, should I say, into a shape or into a glass. You're doing it over your ice well, you're doing it near stuff which is gonna be on your bar top. So be careful, make sure you can do the move well first before you start doing it behind your bar. But when you're, when you're ready, take the bottle from the speed rail, it comes up, you flick forward, one full rotation, sound effects and all, catch it over the shaker into a port. Boom. Okay, if you notice I actually caught the bottle about here, then I bring it down to a port. Okay, that's going to be a lot easier to do than trying to get it exactly over the shaker every single time. Okay. When you come to a bottle, oh, let me put a little bit of liquid in there very quickly. When you come to do it with the glass bottle, see I've got about an ounce worth of liquid in there, that's 25 mils or 3 cl. Same, same principle, exactly the same. Practice it with the plastic bottle first, then come to the glass bottle. Bang, all right? Pretty simple, very effective. You could use it in competitions, you can use it behind your bar, and you can use it as a linking move if you're doing an exhibition flare. You see, there's that one, and this one, okay? I hope you got it on that one. Let me know what you think about these three minute videos. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, click the little bell because you get notified every time I upload a video. These will be every Thursday and regular viewing of all my other vlogs and everything else will come out every Tuesday. Cool, thanks very much for watching. Till next time, I'll see you then.